Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, we are watching negotiations happen in the media. This the, the Joneses have pulled out all their old tricks here. You know, the whole thing of, you know, they've literally tried everything. We've tried holding contracts and not signing people and making you think we're going to blow it up and stuff. We've talked about now you got to do more with less that we can't, you know, that we're down to the piece of pie and everything else. The Joneses are literally trying to throw everything they can at Dak Prescott not to pay him. There just aren't. They're using Clarence Hill to try and get him to help negotiate. You know, they're denigrating him a little bit in the media. This is the same stuff we've seen over and over again. And the reality is, is as we've watched, and I've pointed out today, some of the big deals out there, somehow Denver has been able to, you know, pay Russell Wilson $124 million, eat money just to get rid of him and so on. The Eagles ate $35 million in dead money with Carson Wentz and stuff, and they were able to get themselves right with Jalen Hurts and stuff and get him signed. We're seeing the 49ers literally sign everybody to mega deals and make it. But somehow the Cowboys want you to believe that they can't pay people and that all of their problems stem from Dak Prescott and his contract. But you know what the real problem here is? The real problem is, is people with money like power and control. They like being able to control everything. They're egomaniacs. And this is Jerry Jones because there's nothing Jerry can do to make Dak do anything. He has no control over Dak Prescott. The leverage that Dak Prescott has, nobody has ever had with Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones realizes... I have to have him. I, I I know you trolls and you haters and stuff say you were, we're better off with Dak. Let's hit the reset button. No, Jerry Jones doesn't want to go through the possibility of five and twelve teams years in a row and stuff and see his brand grow go down. He wants Dak Prescott, but see, he's got to feel like he's in control. But he's got no control because he can't trade him, can't cut him. He's got to pay him, and that is the problem. Here is Clarence Hill on Rich Eisen, because Clarence Hill just started, you know, a new, you know, new podcast company and all that. So they were fortunate enough to get Jerry Jones to really get the clicks and stuff going. But listen to what we got right here. I saw the quotes that you you garnered. We started our show with it uh, on uh, on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, as a matter of fact, Clarence. So thank you for that. Um, where it sure seemed to me that Jerry was negotiating with Dak through you, Clarence. I'll be straight up. You know, what, what did you think when he was talking about, you know, um, that we don't need to do a contract before the season, he'll still be here, but he'll have to do more with less. Here we go. What did you make of that? You know, Jerry's all over the place and trying to justify – the decisions and they've made and how they've handled their contract situations. Um, and while he's trying to negotiate with me, Dak has all the leverage. I mean, Dak has a no trade clause. Dak has a no tag clause. Dak is in the catbird seat because either Cowboy signed him to a deal that's amenable to him and his agent, or he walks into free agency, at least according to all people who know those things, his market is 60 million or more. You know, and the, and the current highest paid quarterbacks make $55 million. But so certainly Jerry is, is, is you know, I, I think he wants to sign Dak. I, I, I know he wants to keep Dak with the Cowboys. It's, it does, makes no sense if you sign CeeDee Lamb to a contract like that and not make sure you have you a go. contract, a, a quarterback, excuse me, to so you can maximize that investment. You, you made a huge investment in CeeDee Lamb for the future. And, you know, right now you look at what's in the draft, look at what's out there. There's, there's no guarantee you're going to have a quarterback as good as Dak Prescott. Well, and I, Dak Prescott is clearly a top ten quarterback. I, I mean, that, that I, I agree with you. Um, I would say that goes without saying, but I think there's a lot of people who would say differently. And you know, on top of everything, 
uh, all the capologists who talk about this and know about it, that if Dak walks in free agency, that's a 40 million dead cap charge on the Cowboys mm-hmm. on top of it. So if you're or if he's going to be 40 million dead of him leaving, you know, yeah. 20 million more to keep him um, should should be sort of the proverbial no brainer. Is 60 the number that Dak's asking for per year? I don't know what he's asking for. I just know that the baseline is 55 for sure. And we all know that 60 is is what he could get on the market. And, and you know, it's mm-hmm. somewhere in between that. I'm sure Dak is not asking, at least from my understanding, to be the, you know, to go 60 plus. But he's certainly not taking a lesser deal. He owes it to his family. He said he owes it to the rest of the quarterbacks in the league yeah. uh, to, to get a, a market value deal. Now, what that is, you know, is up for Dak and the Cowboys and the league to determine. But, you know, again, the baseline is clearly 55 million where, you know, all the top quarterbacks, either this, that's the highest paid quarterback right now is 55 million. And, and, you know, people point out, well, he hasn't won anything. Who has won anything besides Patrick Mahomes? <laughs> who's, won it, who's won beside Patrick Mahomes? You know, and, and but that's what you get. The Jacksonville quarterback is getting fifty-five million dollars. Yeah, two is getting fifty-five around that, and uh, Burrow and and Golf. But again, the, some of those are, are are definitely less than the the top of the line. Jordan Love, the guy who br- ushered in the All In Dallas era because of the way that he dismantled the Cowboys and won and dunning them. He's top of the market. So I, I don't I don't know if Jerry's saying you're not top of the market. I, I'd be curious to know why this is not getting done because as you pointed out, Clarence, if we go into the season, the NFL goes into the season and Dak hasn't signed, mm-hmm. he can walk and he leave them should. with a $40 million dead cap charge. Uh, mm-hmm. He can't be traded. He can't be franchise tagged. He does and hold all the leverage, the which is why when, when Jerry Jones told you uh, for all city Dallas, that um, that that do the fans know that <laughs> there could be less for Dak to work with in the future? That struck me as him saying, "Hey, Cowboys fans, don't blame me if we're cow- you know a touchdown shy. I had to pay CD and I had to pay Dak. Oh, I would have yeah. to pay Micah." Had these guys not gone all in with both hands, you know, maybe we could have had another receiver or running back. That's the way I took it, Clarence. Oh, that's his line of thinking. There's no question about that's his line of thinking. He's, he's, he's talked about having to pay these three guys, and I don't know, he's made many commentaries over the years about the pie, and the pie is only so big. If these guys get this much of the pie, mm-hmm. and only this much of the pie for the rest of the team. And, and so he's openly talked about Dak having to play with less, and we all know that the Cowboys – you know, they've had good teams, but they've also haven't gone all in. I mean, when we think of all in, we think of what the Rams did a couple of years ago. You know, when the Cowboys talk about all in, it's mean I'm going to pay our guys and then shop at the basement bid, a bargain basement bid. And and okay. that's what he's saying is, just, okay, if I pay Dak, I'm paying CD, I'm paying Micah, the rest of the guys, you know, we have to play with young guys or journeyman free agents and try to get it done that way. I mean, and we're talking about a franchise yeah. that's worth ten billion dollars, the richest franchise in sports. What drives me crazy, and I understand there's a salary cap, but fans don't want to hear the richest franchise in sports Thank you. always talking about balancing the budget. Yeah. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel. I'm telling you, it all goes down to Jerry Jones wants to be able to control Dak Prescott and his contract. And he's got no con- no control over it. You got to understand, people don't like to be beat over money that have money, and that's exactly where Dak Prescott and Todd France have literally outfoxed the fox. And that's the bottom line. You know, Jerry Jones does not want to pay this. He just doesn't. And uh, the reality is, is he's got no choice. He is forced to. They are not going to walk away from Dak Prescott. Will there be a lot of drama between here and then? Of course there will be. But there certainly was with C.D. Lamb. You know, here it was, you know, well, we made offers and everything else, right? Yeah, you'd have made offers, but guess what? Your offers ended up not being good enough. The players stood by their guns, and they got exactly what they wanted. And the thing is, the Cowboys are butthurt that the players and their agents are doing circles around them when it comes to contracts. Stay tuned, friends. It's going to get ugly because 
here's where it really gets crazy. Where Dak Prescott literally said, oh man, um, that he has to, you know, he does not listen. Let, let me pull it up real quick here. Um, now I can't find it. But literally, Dak Prescott has said, I don't pay attention to what Jerry Jones says. I don't. In the, it says in the media. And, you know, you really can't. Oh, here it is. It sounds like Des Pre- Dak Prescott has had enough of Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. I stopped honestly listening to things Jerry says in the media a long time ago. It doesn't really hold weight with me. Now, I want to say on here, because everybody's running with this like, oh, he just, you know, cussed out Jerry and says he doesn't. Make sure you put in there, says to the media. That is key. That is key because we all know Jerry Jones does a lot of talking in the media. You can't pay attention to it. Johnny Manziel, you know I'd like to get that Adrian Peterson. You know, how many times, you know, just a week ago, I'm in no hurry to get C.D. Lamb signed. You know, we're going all in. You know, so Dak is kind of like, yeah, uh, Jerry says a lot of things. And I don't know that necessarily this was Dak Prescott basically saying, I don't listen to Jerry Jones and I'm pissed off. I think he's giving us the reality of what we all should be doing, which is we don't listen to things that Jerry Jones says to the media. We just shouldn't. Dak is 100% right. It's cray cray, y'all. But that's what it is when you are a Dallas Cowboy YouTuber. Peace out, good people. I'm going to go relax a little bit here. We didn't got so much stuff going on. I'm going to go spend some time with my beautiful bride. All right, good people. Peace out.